New training priorities and concerning crime trends. Richmond's acting chief of police giving the department's first quarter public safety briefing today. 8 News reporter Olivia Jakewith is live outside police headquarters after speaking with the chief today. Olivia, he says violent offenses are actually not what's having the biggest impact on the city's crime data ticking up. That's right, Deanna, and it's certainly interesting timing because this comes on the heels of what the acting chief says was a busy night for violent crime in Richmond, including SWAT and federal partners on scene involved in these incidents and a standoff with a homicide suspect in Whitcomb Court. A spike in property crimes proving to be a cause for concern for Richmond police. This is what's killing us right now. Speaking out during the department's first quarter crime briefing, Acting Chief Rick Edwards says the majority of shoplifting offenses are happening in Virginia ABC stores. It's pushing all of our crime. It's such a such a big number. And even though homicides are up slightly compared with this time last year, violent crime is down overall. Chief Edwards highlighting a disturbing trend with the potential to change that, a 14% increase in the number of guns stolen from cars. The 13 year old young man that was killed on Stockton Street on March 10th, Marquan Mitchell, was killed with a firearm that was stolen out of a car 18 hours earlier, just four blocks away. It's something that we're trying to do to think outside of the box to, to try to help our community avoid these kind of tragedies so that no mother has to go through what Mar Marquan's mother had to go through. 136 firearms just in the first quarter, now on the street from these thefts. Edwards says Richmond police is using federal money to buy safes for the community for proper gun storage. Yet the acting chief also says the department will soon be rolling out training with less of a focus on firearm usage based off first responders in the UK. Most police in the UK don't have firearms, so they've developed tactics and training to, to try to use distance, communication, um, and other ways to, to avoid using deadly force with folks who may have an edged weapon or a, or a, a stick or, or some other weapon that could be deadly uh, in the right hands. Now, Edwards says every single officer in the department will go through 12 hours of that training by the end of the year. As for when we could start to see those violence interrupters out in the community, the acting chief today echoing what Mayor LeVar Stoney told me yesterday, saying it's only a matter of weeks. For now, live in Richmond, Olivia Jaquith, 8 News.